Libra, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for June 3rd all the way to June 9th. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's Raise Your Vibration TV. You didn't stumble upon this by accident, Libra. You are here to get some 24 karat guidance, and we're going to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. We've got a new moon happening this week. Mm, that's a bell dinger especially with your sign, because this is, well, all right, let's backtrack a few days. Let's start on June 3rd. I get so excited. I always start right in the middle. June 3rd, Mercury, the planet of communication, travel, you know, ideas, movement of all sorts is moving into its home sign of Gemini. Now, when a planet moves into the sign that it rules, it is an extra powerful burst of energy that really amplifies what it does, okay? So communications will take on, you know, getting both sides of the story. Gemini, again, is this, again, with Libra kind of balance. There's There are two opposites that need to find unity, you know? Same thing with kind of with Libra. And then Aquarius just does their own thing. But anyway, I digress. So the new moon is happening on the 6th, and it's happening in the sign of Gemini, which is happening in your 5th house. So this new moon, this new opportunity is taking place in this energy sector of your chart. And that means love, romance, giving and receiving love. Your children will become a focus if you have some. Getting outside and having fun, being active, being active in groups, doing a lot. Like Libra, you're going to be everywhere all at once, you know, and life is a party this week <laughs> and, and it's going to set up for the summer. The thing is, can you handle that? You know, Gemini is also multitasking and you're a Libra. You need that balance of that multitask. Can you balance all these, all these balls you're juggling? You know what I mean? <sighs> Don't take that. Some of you are fucking snickering. I can hear it. All right. And then Mars is moving into. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. I got a gutter mind sometimes and I can't help it. So do you. Anyway, June 9th is uh, time for Mars to move into Taurus. So it's moving out of the sign of rules into a much more settled kind of. You know, instead of flying or catapulting, the energy is kind of driving, you know, across the country. So it's needs to, the energy needs to be grounded, you know. So before action, because Mars is the planet of action, let's be grounded and secure in how we're going to take those actions. All right. So that's the energy for the week. Let's start with the Tarot. All right, Libra. What do we got? Ooh, same card that Gemini got. Hmm. Interesting. The plot thickens. What else do we have for Libra, please? What else? Just throwing cards all over the fucking room. All right, let's see what we got. What else do we got? Yep, that one to come out. Okay, good. Let's grab these that fall on the floor. All right, okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I don't really know which. That's it right there. All right. And then, yeah. Wow. All right. This is uh, something else here. I'm going to tell you right now, there's a huge focus on your friends, meeting friends, work associates, Working with groups of people, your family, your children, that's all taking place here. And it's in a good position. Um, but let's deal this out. Unbeknownst to me, because spirit just kind of guides us in all the symbolism and everything that we do on this channel. And we have three piles of three. I want you to pay attention to three, three, three. Three, three, three. And then you also have two threes here. 
in the outcome. And then you have the world card, which is 21. So 2 plus 1, what's that equal? You see what I'm getting at here? Threes, angel number threes, 333, three, three, is growth. So there's huge growth in all your relationships. That's right off the bat. Surrender to it, all right? So let's divvy up these piles. What we need to work on, what we need to embrace, which is very powerful energy, and the outcome which is, again, we were just talking about that because I always read the last chapter first. Uh, so let's work on this first. Five of Swords is worry. Five of Swords is useless energy. You're at this point where worrying is not going to serve you anymore. If you're not there, you need to get there. Eight of Cups is showing us that it's time to walk away. Emotionally withdrawal from this worrying. The King of Swords cuts all cords, looks at the past and says, nope, not doing the shoulda, woulda, coulda, not doing any of that. In fact, I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to keep my boundaries up, though. You know, this is the first time that I'm actually looking at the Nine of Wands in the embrace position as let your walls down to the people that you can trust and put those walls up to the people that you're iffy about. This is a sign of protecting your energy. The emperor is what you really need to focus on this month, and that's taking your power back. Especially don't let other people kind of dictate how you flow. Ah, uh -uh, you know, this is a big focus on success with the chariot. Action is going to be taking place. Things are going to ramp up for you. And then we have the three of cups, the three of pentacles and the world card. Um, lots of inter social interaction, lots of that. Balance it out, surrender to it. I think there's travel involved here too for some of you. But we need to release the fear, doubt, and worry. Replace it with love, joy, and peace. All right? Let's throw some oracles at it. Let's throw some oracles at it and see what we got for you, Libra. What do we got? Oh my God, cards are falling out all over the place. Do I keep those two? Yes. All right. That's telling me that I need to stack it again. That's what I call stacking. All right. Any more? Yep. Just throw them on the floor, guys. Thanks. I must need to stretch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, come on, really? Pick the card up, Jeff. All right. Jesus. Ah, yes. Put some of this stuff to rest. Get outside and ground. There's a huge emphasis on getting outside and grounding. Maybe at the beach. Clear your mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Hold your vision. Allow the... Yeah, you need, you need a good time of healing here. Allowing the universe to kind of wash this energy out of you. There's no doubt about that. Look at this. Power. There's a huge emphasis on you taking your power back in situations you feel you cannot control. Take control back. Put up those walls. Boundaries is more than walls because walls stop things from coming in. Boundaries say, you walk past this line, I don't, I feel sorry for you. So stand your ground. I know that that's a seven of wands kind of energy, but... That's what it's kind of saying here. All right, positive movement forward. Things are going to be moving forward very quickly for you when you take your power back, all right? Some of you just need some rest. You're no good to all this socializing you're doing if you're fucking exhausted. You know what I mean? Give yourself some me time. Get outside. Yeah. A lot of outdoor scenes here. Get outside. Ground, barefoot, in the grass, play in the mud like kids do. Wow. Yeah, you're finally taking, this is all me, making a lot of sense here. You're taking on a win or lose attitude. What are you going to choose? Of course, you're going to choose to win. So get that mindset right. Lead, again, take your power back. This is what you need to embrace. Four, four, four. Harmony, balance. In the meantime, you're awaiting results. 
Not a problem. Pay attention to 777. This is a spiritual lesson because you're moving towards what you want. Look at it. There's a lot of movement here. A lot of movement. Look at how that all lines up. That's beautiful energy for you. All right, let's look at relationships. Look at all that. 444-333-777 at the Ladybug Picnic. Remember that song from Sesame Street? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At the Ladybug Picnic. I used to love the, um, the crocodile ones where they had all the jewels. <laughs> it was a counting one. They had gold rings or something. I don't remember the song, though. All right, let's look at love. What do we got? Mmm, okay. We may feel stuck in some relationships. All right. And we're worried if we're going to get out of this. Listen to me. Take some time off if that's what you need. No harm, no foul. You're no good in the relationship if you're feeling like this. You need a mental break from that. It may be exhausting. Take action. Speak your truth. Take your power back in the relationship. And create the situation that you want by envisioning you being empowered and you're not losing yourself in said relationship. In fact, this is the week to get empowered by it. And really speak your truth about what you want as far as romance and, and how you want to be treated and how you look at love and, and your definition of it. Are your definitions linking together? Have you come to this mutual understanding or have you given your power up in this relationship? Let's get some messages of love oracles and see what they got to say. What other messages do we have for Libra and love? Obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Oh, I wonder who it is. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Okay. It's your fear, your doubt, and your worry that, oh no, I'm doing it again. Don't do it. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson, taking your power back this, this week. And never having to fucking dictate that to somebody else again. You know what I mean? You're just on it. <sighs> this is empowering. You have to, you have no choice. You have no choice. Take your power back. And that means if you've got to step up and say something when you're the peacekeeper, sometimes you just got to fucking belt it out. And if they're wounded, they'll lick their wounds and get over it. Have faith. It's not easy to have faith and trust that everything's going to be okay. Yet you still must do exactly that, Libra. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. And you are mastering this. So move towards this beautiful energy. You've learned your lessons. Don't think you're going to repeat them again. All right? Have faith. All right, Libra, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the comments, and I will see you next week.